Hi everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. I'm doing okay. I'm still having some issues with my weight. Um, I've had rapid, in my opinion, rapid weight gain um, from medications that I took over the summer. And when I go off the medication, it's not like the weight will just drop off immediately. That's not what's going on with me. So I'm working on this extra 20 pounds that I gained over the summer. On top of being overweight and it's 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 a struggle it's a it's a major struggle for me but um, to me it's all about tweaking my diet tweaking my activity level because I am limited right now to what I can do uh, exercise wise but as long as I can walk as long as I can you know do sit-ups uh, just stay active. I, I know the weight will come off. It's just for me. It's going to take a lot longer than most people. Um, one thing that I've noticed that as long as I, I do what I call the elimination process in my foods, um, I can't always stick to the same uh, diet food that I've been eating off and on for the past year, two years. What I have to do is start doing the elimination process. Start reading up on what foods might be causing a lot of water weight and start eliminating those out of my diet. And uh, two of those foods are nuts and cheese. Um, only because those are higher in calories, even though they're are very low in carbohydrates. Um, I am watching my calorie intake. so. Uh, I was I was I was a cheese head. Yeah, I was really overdoing it with the cheese and I love cheese I, I love it. I mean yum, and it's going to always be a part of my uh, diet But I'm not going to overeat it in in large quantities. So I'm going to limit my cheese intake to maybe um, Two ounces per week two ounces is like two slices and uh, nuts, I'm going to just remove nuts completely. That includes nut butter, that includes almond butter, um, that includes uh, whole nuts, almonds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of those for a while. And I'm going to continue to eat my leafy green veggies, which I love. Those are the salads. But again, um, salad dressing has changed. No longer am I going to be consuming ranch dressing right now. No longer I'm going to be consuming my low carb Thousand Island. What I have um, concocted was everyone knows about me and apple cider vinegar, the raw, the mother of all mother vinegars. I, I really, this is this is crazy, you guys. I really enjoy the taste of that vinegar. It's a tanginess, and you know me about coconut oil. So I have concocted my own little coconut oil, uh, apple cider vinegar, vinaigrette dressing. And then I'll add in um, my herbs, garlic, a little tiny bit of onion. Onion, again, I have to watch out for the, the veggies that um, uh, increase inflammation on me. And those are the nightshade veggies, the tomatoes. So I have to eliminate tomatoes out of my diet. I have to be very careful with onions in my diet. There are certain um, uh, veggies, believe it or not, fruits and vegetables that contribute to my inflammation, my arthritis. So that's where I'm at today. It's all about the elimination process. It's all about learning about your body. Um, your body changes over time. Us women, you know, our hormones change over time. And um, that's why a low carbohydrate uh, food plan for me at my age, at my time in my life, at my hormonal time is perfect. I don't need as many carbohydrates because I don't burn that much uh, carbs so I don't need carbs to keep me going I need more fat in my diet healthy fats and that's where the coconut oil comes in now also my protein um, is eggs and the only type of eggs that I personally feel has helped um, me is the cage-free hens so I suggest if you're still buying commercial eggs which are you know consumer wise you know, not that expensive. Um, think about if you can afford an extra dollar or two, think about switching over to cage-free hens. Uh, those, those chickens, those hens are out in the sun. They're building, they're, they're uh, getting the vitamins and the omega 
of omega threes. They're getting everything that they need. They're happy chickens. Happy chickens leave lay happy eggs. Anyhow, that's where my money goes when I go to buy eggs. They are the cage-free hens, and um, the price. Yeah, they're pricey, but they're worth it. That's a that's that's how they get you. That's how they get you. <laughs> so read your labels, guys. If you can't pronounce what that word is, then you know it's some kind of manufactured in a lab ingredient. So when you're out at the grocery store, take the time when you go to reach for something, especially a processed food. I mean, you can't get away from processed foods completely. I mean, unless you're going to make your own pasta sauce and your own uh, homemade everything. If you can't read the ingredients can't pronounce it, then don't buy it. And another thing is, I won't eat anything with MSG. Um, yeah, so those of you that are even um, purchasing uh, bouillon, oh, read what's in bouillon. Make your own. Make your own. Cook your own chicken, roast it. Cook your own beef, roast it, and use that as your, your bouillon. Because to me, I love bouillon. And then I'll add um, veggies and uh, oh so that's just for me all i'm saying is for me i'm always tweaking my food plan i'm staying within the basics um and i'm gonna get there it's just gonna take me a while and i um look forward to following a lot of you and thank you again for subscribing following my journey and i appreciate everything that you guys have done for me and educated me and I'm continuing to educate myself and I get excited that I can bring it to you guys and share what I've learned so there you are guys um, I'm up I'm up pretty heavy yes I'm I'm over 260 pounds I'm gonna say it right now a year ago I was 232 so um, but then my health uh, with my uh, uh, reactive arthritis and medications but that's not an excuse what my excuse is not to give an excuse. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm not going to give an excuse for what's happened to me. All I know is that I can fix it as long as I stay focused up here. So that's where I'm at today, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful week ahead. And um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.